another level, I been in my bag and I keep getting better Talk, I'ma walk that walk, I only speak facts None of these bitches is seeing me in this just that on that And if they sleeping on me, I'm finna wake them up, motherfucker bedtime Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Let's Begin, and today I'm coming back with a collab. It is with my girl Shandism. Or and today we are giving y'all the melted hairline slays. Okay, like she's funny, she's quirky. She there's just so much I could say, but I would really rather y'all just go to her page and check her out. Make sure you stop by to her channel after you are done watching this video. We're gonna get into the early beginning of me just opening this wig and then once i'm done showing you how i customize it i'm going to come back hey guys it's your girl show aka let's begin and today honey i don't even care how i look we gotta get into this now i said i was going on break from doing reviews but after this unit this unit right here it's a new main concept unit her name is Anise, and this is the stock part. And if you look even closer, you see it has the pre-pluck and the scalp. It even comes with tape. If you look, it has greens, purples, and blues into it. It feels so soft. Got a low flow. Y'all, that ain't my hand, that's the cap. But you would think it was my hand. Look. Okay, it comes with baby hairs, um, but we gonna push them out the way. Look at the hairline. Look at the hair. Okay, I gotta take this wig off so we can get a, get a good feel for it. And I'm gonna take my cap off. Comes with two combs on the sides. One comb in the bottom, adjustable straps. I will say off the bat, this head is this um wig is big hair friendly. I am not going to have to pluck. You know what they call that? You know what? you do this to me still nothing in my brush and she has a nice luster she okay and she got like a little layering in her look at that and y'all see me take that cap off y'all see me take that cap off and this inner ear, I'm gonna pluck the sides just a teeny bit. But this, this, this front part, I'm not plucking nothing. Oh, one strand. One. Okay, yeah, she's a little. So we're we gonna come back. We're gonna come back. We're gonna get this together. We're coming back. Okay, I'll be back. All right, so I start off by putting the um, powder in the inside, and I did not try it on. I can still see the knots a little bit, even though it's still um, it's pre plucked real good. So what I go ahead and do is add the foundation on as well. Please be care cautious when doing that, and that's what it look like after I do it. So then I go ahead and just set a pull the side out so that's the only part i'm going to pluck i'm not going to pluck the front of the unit and i spray my little water mixed with conditioner on the side and then i just go ahead and pluck it and i'm just showing y'all that's all i pluck is the side and it does not really need to be plucked so you can actually skip this part especially if you're not a person that plucks then i use the conditioner to brush out the um hair this is the part you're going to want to need to do make sure that you spray the free spray and brush it back that creates a sleek hairline and it gets all the hair out when you're gray cut it so i already know that i cut in three sections look at that hairline y'all and i did not pluck that that just looks so amazing man concept 
yes but yeah you pluck it um you cut it into three sections and then you fold it back i start with the middle so i'm going to go ahead and use the gas to be and put it on the middle side but make sure you wipe for any oil because you need your unit to stick so i make sure that i uh put a nice amount around the forehead area then i pull the wig down and then i press it then i use the comb i keep telling y'all the comb is key to giving a scalp you're going to see as the video goes on it really helps with give the illusion then i use the free spray on top for extra hole and then i'm going to use the comb again to go ahead and give that that melt honey yes like y'all see the process that it is coming to life okay it is coming to life so you want to do that until it is dry and make sure you just you know keep pressing the comb because you want it to make sure that it is down and melted into your head and then i'm going to go ahead and do the sides i'm just going to show y'all one more time how i do it so um make sure you just put the gel the comb and the free spray look at that you guys remember y'all do not have to pluck this side like i wore this hair down the whole time you don't have to pluck the side but that just looks amazing i plucked that gray so again the free spray and then i'm gonna go ahead and come and then at this moment i knew i fucked up because at that spot i put too much um foundation right there y'all gonna see the end result of that um once this is over but yeah um make sure you just keep using your comb pressing it down to make sure that it is melted and dry into your skin and whenever it is dry that's when you go to the next section but it looks i'm, I'm just so amazed so then i use the razor method you have to be careful with this you do not want to um do the hairline go into the hairline it does mess it up um just close as um, cut as close as you can if not i would suggest you just using scissors to cut it off and this is the end result of that you guys so i go ahead and put the spree spray on one more time for the spots that are lifted from me cutting with the razor and then i just go ahead and use my comb to go ahead and press it and melt it into my skin and like i said just use the rat tail part and the teeth of the comb to make sure that you get it melted next i'm going to go ahead and use my hat comb to give it more of a melted hairline look first i use the tooth ends on both sides to give it a little oomph in the front and then i want to go ahead and use the back and watch how it just comes together you guys look at that I end up tying the head down and going to sleep after this, but my phone ended up dying, so we're just going to skip fast forward to the next right, day. guys, welcome back, and you have seen me slay this wig with little to no effort. If you don't remember, this is Anise. She is from Main Concepts Rare Carpet Premier Collection, and this is called the Natural Scalp Lace Front Wig. pre puck Skin Tone Hairline. Natural Scalp integrated baby hairs and sideburns 13 by 4 parting space secure comb straps and maximum comfort as from here to here i did not pluck let me say it again y'all seen me do the process i even poured it just to pluck the sides if i was you guys i would not pluck and listen to me a person who loves to pluck is telling y'all do not pluck this is actually a company that finally got it right with when it comes to pre-plucking we're going to get into this i had this wig on since monday but i have a pimple right here so it is hard for this side to even lay down watch when putting the foundation i put a little bit too much foundation so be cautious of that you don't have to do foundation you can just um do powder i just decided to do um foundation because of the knots being kind of big as far as the hair it's still soft i still haven't gotten any tangling um it's like tiny little snags but you see, I'm still running my hands through it. I have been sleeping in this week. And I'm kind of mad too. Um, with me plucking, I kind of flattened like the little oomph it had because it's layered or whatever. But that's an easy fix, I think, with some um, your flat irons and it gets to be to give it a little bit more volume. I brought this with my own coins. I think any beginner should get this. 
Anybody that's tired of plucking should get this. I stand by this. I stand by this. This method, if you guys do not know, with the um, cap already being sewed into your wigs, actually comes from a YouTuber. She's a pretty big YouTuber. Her name is Miss Precious Marie. I want to shout her out for ever even thinking of this because I know companies wouldn't even have came this, this method if it wasn't for her. And it is a lifesaver. I don't have any cons. I don't have any cons. Oh, this just looks so fire i'm so mad i really want to take this off again and rewash it so i can make this blend now you know this is a wig you guys so don't think it's just gonna automatically look exactly like scalp but she's giving scalp tease okay this part is just killing me i'm not doing baby hairs in this unit i just said i'm not doing baby hairs i'm not doing baby hairs in this unit i'm gonna scoot the camera up so we can get into the scalp a little bit more it's the scalp up close I only put a little bit of powder right here. The rest of that is the cap. I did not put powder in here because I wanted to show you guys what it looked like without any powder. This is a frontal, so you can part. And you can see where it stops at. The knots are kind of big, so if I was you guys, I would make sure that I would put powder in here because the knots are kind of big. Now, this blends with my skin, so I can actually pull it off, but for the people who's like lighter or darker than me, you definitely will have to put powder in here. I do would probably think like, well, the cap is light and the lace is light, I'm not going to blend you can blend this easily, especially because it's a cap. Think about it, guys. When you are doing your cap method anyway, whenever you get your blonde cap, what do you do? You put your powder, your color powder, on the cap to make it blend. And that's the same thing with this. This is really an easy unit to slay. There's nothing to this unit. You, This is beginner friendly. This is beginner friendly. This plucking, I did not. You would have thought I plucked this. Y'all would have thought I plugged this. I did not sides. This size. That's I did not plug this. I sat there and told y'all. Once main concept start getting their hairlines down pat. It's over. It is over. Y'all already know this is my favorite company. They then came the fuck through. Okay. Like I don't know why y'all still sleeping on them. I don't know why y'all are still sleeping on them. I don't know. Because this, this. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on. Me. Me. Let's begin. Let's begin. Did not do no baby ears. Me, let's begin. Did not do no plucking of the whole unit. And I'm telling you, a person as a plucker do not pluck it you don't need to you do not need to the way that this is layered this kind of reminds me of morgan sensationals morgan and i know people are like oh look at that side i mean y'all i i can't slay everything i mean it still looks good but like i said like it's the um foundation that i used i put a little bit too much but everything else blends so well. Will I put baby hairs in for y'all? I will. But right now, I'm not. This is for my people who just love natural hairlines. Whenever I can get a unit like this where I don't have to put baby hairs, I'm not going to put baby hairs. And you, I had her on for four days now. Four days. This is four days later. All that stuff you seen, that was from Monday. Today is Thursday. By the time y'all see this, it will be Sunday, and I'm still going to have her on. What I will suggest to you guys is that you better follow me on Instagram. Let's begin underscore so you can see the different ways that I style it. Not much else I can say about this unit, that, but that is fire, and I think that you guys should get it. I think you guys should get it. I thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I appreciate you supporting your girl and showing me love. If there's any videos that you would like to see, let me know. Till next time, you guys.